This is the video review for Subterranean Armor Iron Man from the Concept series of Iron Man figures. Um, I don't have a whole lot of Iron Man figures. Most of the Iron Man figures I collect are the Mini Mates. I do have a ton of Iron Man Mini Mates, uh, but not so much uh, the actual 6-inch figures. This is actually my first one of the movie 6-inch uh, figures, and it's kind of a fluke um, that I have him. Um, I just happened to be on the phone with uh, my friend Sino when uh, she was out shopping with Incognito uh, for toy hunts, and they found this one, and he's like, oh, does anybody want this one? And I looked up a picture online, thought he looked cool, and said, yeah, go ahead, pick him up, because they were on sale. Um, and I'm glad I did, because this guy is just awesome. Um, he does come with this removable, you know, he's supposed to be drilling down to the, fight the creatures in the middle of the earth, um, according to the bio on the package. Um, and he does come with this removable drill that does just clip onto his arm. Um, and the drills, it's, it's cool, it's big, it snaps on. Um, it really is kind of the weak point of the, uh, of the toy, because it says spinning drill. And looking at this, you'd think that once it was on his arm, you could spin this part back here and make the whole thing spin, which would actually make it functionally like a little better, because you could put it here. But no, only this top part. like this, this gold part does not spin. Only the silver tip spins. So you have to spin it from the front. Um, you have to pretty much go like this to spin it, which, when it's clipped on, pretty much defeats the purpose of having a drill in the front. Uh, if you could go like this, it would look like maybe you could make him actually drill something, but when you have to come around like this to spin the drill, um, kind of lame. Um, and there's no, there's no button or mechanism to make it automatically spin. The only way to spin it is to manually come up here and spin it. Um, so that's the drill. That's the weak point of, of the set. But really, don't worry about this, because this is really the shining point of this. One, I love this this armor. It's kind of got some bulk to it. Um, it looks, you know, nice and tough. I'd love to see this repainted in the standard red and gold um, as just kind of a, you know, power armor or something like that. Um, I'll give it a little turn around here. You just kind of have a skirt back here um, around the armor. Um, but just a nice, nice kind of even more armored Iron Man um, and a very nice sculpt. Composability wise, uh, very cool. The head is on uh, can rotate. Um, it can't rotate a lot uh, just due to the collar, but it does have some range of motion in it, um, up and down, side to side, all this stuff. Um, the shoulder panels flip up. Now uh, you can lift those up and down, uh, mostly to allow for the arm to move. Now the arm is on a uh, there's like a swivel joint here in the elbow, as well as um, a swivel joint or at the shoulder at the shoulder. So he's got two point shoulders. Um, there is a mid bicep swivel on the figure. Um, he's got double jointed elbows. He's got the joint here and down here. Uh, double jointed elbows. Um, and then down here at the wrist, the wrist is actually double jointed. It's got a swivel joint this way and it's got a swivel joint this way. So uh, even for a fist, there's a lot of posability there. Uh, same on this arm. You know, double jointed shoulder, bicep swivel, double jointed things, and then the hand can move up and down and rotate. Um, he does have this torso joint. Uh, uh, like ball joint allows them to twist and twist and turn and go up and down. Um, again, same type of joint on the hips as as the shoulders are uh, the kind of rotating ball joint, well, like ball shaped joint. I mean, it's a swivel joint here and a swivel joint here. Um, again, thigh swivel, uh, double jointed knees. Um, there's a joint there at the armor and then a joint up here at the actual knee um, for that. Um, and then again, the same type of rotating swivel or ro rotating joint and a swivel joint on the feet so um, just massive articulation in this guy my only real complaint anywhere about the articulation is that this torso joint is kind of loose um, it'll hold any position you stick it in um, e even all the way up uh, it, it's not that heavy but it just feels a little loose when you're moving them around it's really easy to knock them out of position because this joint is really loose um, but just a really, really nice figure. Um, not a whole lot of drawbacks. Like I said, the main drawback, this accessory. But really, you're not buying it for this accessory. This accessory is, it's neat. It looks kind of cool when you clip it onto him. But really, the Iron Man figure itself is what you're going for. And this figure is just amazing. Um, like I said, I would have liked to seen some of the joints be a little tighter. Um, it looks like the, the ball joint here on this hip is a little off. It just doesn't, even when I get them in the same position, it doesn't quite match up. So I don't know what, what the problem is there. Um, it still stands and poses just fine. I've, I haven't had any issues with it, but um, it may just be set in there a little at a slightly different angle. I um, mean, one of the things I love is that he can do the, uh, aside from being able to, you know, shoot his repulsor blast. Um, actually, you can rotate his hand up like that. 
Uh, he does have the repulsors built into his palm. Uh, is that he can, you can actually cross his arms across himself and have him in the, uh, doing the, all right, let's do this pose. You know, you know just a fist into the hand. Um, and right now it's it's a little, it's not quite connecting all the way. With a little fiddling, you can actually get the fist all the way in his open palm. And he just kind of looks cool. But yeah, um, a surprise. Uh, like I said kind of an impromptu fig wasn't one I was expecting to get. Um, and, and again, thank you, Sino and, and Incog, for picking that up for me. Um, but really, I mean, just really is a cool Iron Man figure. He's definitely one of the. Uh, I've seen some of the other ones, and some of the some of the different armors have not really impressed me that much. This guy is actually really cool. Um, subterranean armor, Iron Man.